Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another toy review. This time for the Hachete Mazinger Z Volumes 94 and 95. Alright, so after 94 and 95, we finally uh, completed the Mazinger Z robot. Okay, just the robot itself, still pending parts for the Jet Scrambler and also pending parts for the uh, base as well as the remote control and whatnot. But we have the Mazinger Z robot done. Okay, uh, really, really exciting. Uh, I'm not going to show the robot to you right now. You can see it right now, the camera-wise, it's the robot is so huge. 74 cm tall, it just cannot be captured within my camera itself. But first off, let me just go through maybe a little bit of volumes 94 and 95. So we have volume, for that, uh, volume 94 over here. So for volume 94, you mainly form the Jack Screnzer wings and then also parts of the Mazinger Z base. Okay, so mainly the assembly is on the base, okay, the ramp and the wings are really straightforward, just clamping it on, okay, the wings and then we have a character file over here, uh, general, episode 86, alright, and then some sketch art, okay, and that's it for volume 94. So for volume 94, you do get the Jack Scrander wing, look at it, the wing is so, so huge. Okay, this is my, my hand, my palm, and this is the wing. It's just so huge. So you have two of them. Okay, so huge that you know it feels like you're taking like an axe or something like that. But yeah, it's really, really huge. Okay, so you still need the parts for the scrambler. Okay, the main body of the scrambler, but here you have uh, the wings. Really amazing. Huge, huge, huge wings. And we have issue 95, which I just received today. Okay, very important issue because this is an issue whereby you get the breast fire pieces away. Right? So this is a very extremely important issue. Okay, so if you if you miss this out, you're gonna miss out the breast fire piece, and then that's that's really it. Uh, so the assembly for this is um pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you just need to do the LED lining for the breast fire, and then uh, assembly parts for the rest of the uh base. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let me just show you guys over here so over here you have the instructions for how to assemble the uh, connector and the led light for the breast fire it's not really easy uh or rather it's not really straightforward but you just have to be very, very careful in assembling it and once you assemble it bam now put the breast fire parts on mazinger and that's it and then over here you have you no know, assembly of the uh uh landing platform and also completing the bottom of the base over here and putting in some uh, rubber so, uh, rubber caps and this we have it so episode 87 okay uh, another character file and episode 90 uh, sorry issue 96 i'm not sure what we're gonna do probably assembly for some parts of the uh i think some remaining parts of the base that's probably it. that's 90 uh issue 96 so really looking forward to it because you know uh, once you get this thing set up you know i'm pretty um, i'm just very curious how this uh this is gonna work uh breast fire we know that you know uh hover power we have seen it then we're gonna have some effect parts for the uh rocket punch lights up for the eyes and for the scrander really really looking forward to it so here without further ado ladies and gentlemen mazinger z okay here he is. Whoa. Just look at him. Finally, Mazinger Z robot itself is assembled. Completely 100%. Wow, this is so, so, so awesome. Now, finally, after so long, 195 issues, that's like, yeah, close to two years now. Uh, not forgetting there are some gaps in between, but there are some delays in certain issues. But here we have Mazinger Z. So it's really amazing. I'm really, really happy to see this uh, Mazinger Z robot done. And you know, issue 95 is definitely a highly sought after issue because of the breast fire parts. All right. So it's really, really highly sought after. Uh, I had to buy buy it really quickly uh, for fear that it's sold out. In fact, I bought two copies of it just in case. Um, you know, just in case uh, there were some issues with some of the parts, like missing parts, missing screws, or some whatnot. So uh, throughout this journey of buying the Hachite Mazinger Z, I do come across uh, certain issues whereby I'm missing screws. Uh, there's also issues whereby I had wrong parts. Uh, so if you were a resident in Japan, you could just write into Hachite and they will just send you the replacement parts or screws or whatever is missing. But if you are buying outside of Japan, it's really tough. And from where I buy from, which is um, from Amazon Japan, 
once it's sold out, it's sold out, you know, and uh, there's no way you can get a replacement because uh, if even if you're missing parts or whatnot, Amazon can do nothing but you know, just either offer you a return or a refund and that's it. Uh, but that's not the purpose of it because, you know, once you imagine you have spent 90 over issues, you know, uh, assembling this and then issue 95, you know, you're missing some parts, you know, or some issue, uh, some broken parts and then it, it just... You no, know, it's just devastating. So, you know, just for insurance sake, I bought two copies of issue 95. Uh, but I think for the remaining issues, 96 to 100, I'll probably just buy one issue each because I think um, most of us should be fine, you know. I'm just missing some parts to complete the base, you know, the remote control for the Mazinger Z and also uh, the main body of the Jack Scrandler, which I think should be fine, shouldn't be a problem. So this is really amazing. Again, let's take a look at it. Really amazing. 74 cm tall, guys. 74 cm tall. Okay, let me just put the camera down right now. And no, uh, not surprising. Okay, it's, it has already been announced. Uh, some of you will probably already know. They're gonna do Great Mazinger. Yay, ta-da, Great Mazinger. So Great Mazinger is gonna follow. So 100, issue 100 is not the end because 101 is going, issue 101, volume 101 is going to be Great Mazinger until volume 200. So Great Mazinger is gonna be very interesting. Uh, huge. So some of the gimmicks, I think you gotta talk about the light up eyes. Uh, breast fire as well, uh, a rocket punch, uh, it's Scrandler, and then he's gonna have a sword, okay, one sword, and it's gonna come with a gimmick with a uh, handshake, you know, Great Mazinger and Mazinger having a handshake. Okay, so this is gonna be 90 cm tall, so it's gonna be 16 cm taller than Mazinger said, so it's really gonna be wow. Um, so I'm, I'm really on a fence on whether I want to start Great Mazinger because this is such a huge, huge, huge figure and I really don't have the space to display him and it takes really a long time to assemble it. So it's really, really um, a very tedious process to assemble. So I think for another 100 issues, it's going to take another two years or more. That's something that I'm not sure whether I want to invest the time and the effort to actually do it. Granted that it's going, it's going to be very exciting. And you know what? Uh, I think it's gonna be anybody's guess. Once they finish Great Mazinger, probably gonna move on to Grandizer, just to finish the trio. So that's gonna be very, very amazing. And Grandizer is probably gonna have the. I'm not sure whether Grandizer is gonna do the UFO or not, or just the Grandizer robot itself. But I think even if they just do the Grandizer robot itself, it'll be good enough. So um, we'll just see how it goes. But right now, okay, I'm just very happy to complete Mazinger very soon. Five more issues to go, and I'll go give a final wrap up and review for the Mazinger Z. Uh, Hachite Mazinga Z figure. So till then, do, here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.